Yer! Welcome to KBM Sports Talks. I'm Kevin. And today we got our super regional preview slash predictions for college baseball world series. We're on our super regionals. And it is down to 16 teams. We went 64 to 16, like that. And I would like to thank College Baseball Hub and hopefully saying this won't they won't copyright me. Thank you for them for these graphics that I'm gonna show today for because these graphics are amazing, honestly. They help you guys see the comparisons and allow me to talk about them and actually show you guys what I'm seeing. And hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and let's get into it. So these are the matchups. We got Arkansas versus North Carolina State in the first one. We have Texas versus South Florida in the Austin Regional, which is Texas's region. Then we have the Lubbock Region, which is Texas Tech versus Stanford. We have the Starkville Regional, which is Mississippi State versus Notre Dame. Then we have Arizona versus Ole Miss in the Tuscan Region. Then we have the Columbia Region. We have Virginia versus Dallas Baptist in the Nashville Regional. Or Super Regional, we got Vanderbilt versus East Carolina. In the Knoxville region, we got Tennessee versus LSU. Wow, a lot of great matchups, a lot to talk about, and I cannot wait. And let's see who has won a championship out of these 16 teams, because we're down to 16. So, let's look at this. Okay, so these are all the teams in the Super Regionals that are left. These are 16 teams, and if you're looking at it, if you can count, if you're counting with me, like, there's nine teams that haven't won a title yet, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm wrong. There is ten teams. I apologize. No, wait, no, there is. No, there is ten. Okay, I'm sorry. I really was trying to figure that out. So, LSU and Texas have both won six. The last time LSU has won one was 2009, and the last time Texas won one was 2005. Wow. So those two teams are looking for their seventh. To who, if though either of those two teams make it or win the championship, they will pass each other, and they will get the number one spot for the na most national titles in college baseball. And then coming in second place for the most overall national titles left that in the Super Regionals is Arizona. Arizona's last championship or national title was in 2012. And then we have tied or third Vanderbilt and Stanford. The last time Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt won it, and technically Vanderbilt is still the reigning champions, national champions, is 2019. And Stanford, last time they won it was 1988 when they won it back to back. And then, then we have Virginia in fourth place alone with one and last time they won it was 2015. Honestly, I am very surprised that Arkansas, Mississippi State, Notre Dame, Ole Miss, Tennessee have not won a national title in baseball. I know that may surprise some people, but I am very surprised on that because Arkansas, I always thought they had one. Mississippi State has always been had a great team. Notre Dame, because it's Notre Dame, I felt like they have a title in everything, it seems like. I feel like they should. Ole Miss, they go into the same category as Mississippi State. I expected them just because they always have a decent team. Tennessee, because I, Tennessee, they used, I thought they used to be a power. And Texas Tech, just because, I don't really know. I don't really think Texas Tech won one. I just really did, thought that they may have. Like, they're one of those teams that, like, oh, hey, they do have one. But, like, I'm just really caught off guard by the fact that Arkansas, Mississippi State, Notre Dame, Ole Miss, and Tennessee do not have one. I am surprised on that. But let's see if any of these, those 10 teams that haven't won one yet, if they can get their first championship, national title, whatever you want to call it. Either way, let's see if one of those teams can get it. It's looking like there's rumors going around that a lot of things people are saying that it's going to be Arkansas, but will it? Let's see. Let's go into these super regionals. We got our first matchup. We got, we got Arkansas versus North Carolina State in Arkansas. And if you're wondering why that number one is by Arkansas, because Arkansas is the number one team in the country. Arkansas finished the season with a 59-11 and 11 record, and that says a lot because they come out of the SEC. The SEC is probably one of the best, is the best, re, is the best um conference, I'm sorry, I almost said regional, best conference in college baseball. Literally, 
there's literally you have Vanderbilt, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Tennessee, um, LSU, Arkansas. That's seven teams right there that are left in the 16 teams. Wow. But for averages, it seems just like North Carolina State is winning in that bracket. I'm not going to go through all of them. But if you look at the, one of the bigger differences, the runs and home runs is what gets me. Look at all those runs. Five or 455 runs to 30, 362. 102 home runs to 83 home runs. Arkansas's bats are scary. Yes, they don't have the best average. But their run and home runs is scary. They can hit home runs like, it, like no tomorrow. They're not the fastest team. North Carolina State is fast. They have so many home runs. But that's not it's very eye-popping. The thing that makes me scared about this re about this Arkansas team is their bats. Their bats are scary. They have, they can score at will. They can turn it on at any moment. They, I believe, are going to win this reg this super regional and advance go and go to Omaha and be one of the eight teams in Omaha just because of their bats. Their bats are scary. They've been great all year. Yes, NC State had a great regional in the Ruston regional, but I don't think that they can go up against Arkansas and compete as well as most think. I think it's going to be a great regional, super regional. I think it's going to be great. I do think Arkansas is going to take two, it's going to take two games to knock out and stay. I don't think this is going to go to a game three. I think that Arkansas is going to win both of the game, first two games and knock NC State out. That's because it's Arkansas has done that good this year. But that alone, you may see NC State maybe steal a game. It may be a three game series, but I don't think so. I think it's just going to be a two game. I believe Arkansas is going to move on to the Super or to Omaha. Now let's see the next region. We got Texas Tech going up against Stanford. We have the eight versus nine seeds right here. And honestly, this regional, they're saying all the things are going to Texas Tech except for the batting average. The record, technically, they kind of do have the same record, just three wins separate them. But I still think that they have the same record in a way, just three more wins. It's not their fault that. Texas Tech played a little bit more games. Can't control that. But it's in LeBuck. So Texas Tech has a home field advantage in this. And it is in Texas. So Texas is fully open. They have full capacity. So you know that stadium is going to be loud. And that may be a bad thing for Stanford. Stanford did win their regional. So did Texas Tech. Obviously, they're in the super regional. Texas Tech, they are a better team. It's seeming like from this. Do, will they win the Super Regional? No, I do not think so. I think Stanford is going to pull off the upset because everyone's going to pick Texas Tech. I think Stanford is going to win this one. But, yes, I do know that Stanford, is. there's a lot more run differential and home run differential. 418 runs for Texas Tech, 333 for Stanford. Yes, I do know that, but I still think that Texas Tech is going to pull that victory off against Stanford. Or, Texas Tech isn't going to be able to control Stanford because I think Stanford has a good amount of bats to be able to beat Texas Tech. But you have to wait and see. I think that this is going to be a three-game Super Regional for these two teams. I think it's going to be a really good, this is going to be one of the best region Super Regional matchups this year. And I cannot wait to watch it. Now we go to Arizona versus Ole Miss. We have the Tuscan Super Regional. Arizona is hosting Ole Miss. Arizona is the five nationally seeded team. Ole Miss is the 12th nationally seeded team. Arizona's, Arizona finishes the season with a 43 and 15 record. Ole Miss finishes with a 44 and 20 record. Arizona can hit. Their batting average in the season is 327. Wow, what a batting average. And then Ole Miss is 289. But the runs for Arizona and Ole Miss is not, is pretty close. It's not as close as it could be, but it's decently close. It's 49 to it's 498, I'm sorry, to 460. What? Wow. That's scary in a way how much runs these two teams can produce. So I believe that it's going to be a very high scoring super regional. Because home runs, though, is 20, 20 home run difference. Ole Miss has 82. Arizona has 62. Stolen bases, it's a 10 difference. Ole Miss has 41. And Arizona has 31. But the ERAs is what stands out in a way to me, too, because of how high they are. Arizona is a 434, and Ole Miss is a 455. So that means to me it's going to be a very high scoring. Like I just said, it's going to be very high scoring just because the simple, let alone fact, that these teams can hit and score runs, and their pitching isn't as good as other teams are. 
434 and 455 ERAs isn't that good in a way. It should be a little bit lower, but it's going to be, it, let alone, it's still going to be a great super regional. Do I think, who I think is going to make it out of this regional? I do think Arizona is going to come out of this regional. I don't think Ole Miss is going to do it. Ole Miss, they, they're a little bit shaky to me in my, in my opinion. Southern Miss did put up a good amount of runs on Ole Miss. I think Arizona is going to win this regional because Arizona, they looked pretty, pretty good in that, in that um whole series, in their whole regional. Like, they did look very good. I do think that Ole Miss is going to get taken down by Arizona. So, I think Arizona is going to go to Omaha. And also, I've got to say, in three games. I think it's going to be a three-game series, too. Now we go to the Nashville Super Regional. We have number four, Vanderbilt, going up against number 13, East Carolina. And East Carolina gets the edge for um, record with a 44-15 and 15 record by one game. 43-15 for 15 for Vanderbilt. What a great matchup in a way for that. If you look by records, you go by records. It's a great matchup. Average, they both hit 300. But this is where the differences come in. 422 for runs, 408 for runs for East Carolina, 422 for, for Vanderbilt, 86 home runs for Vanderbilt, 75 for East Carolina, 84 stolen bases for Vanderbilt, 60 for East Carolina. The ERAs is a big difference right here. You have 347 ERA for Vanderbilt and a 406 for East Carolina. So the pitching difference is what the matter. Kumar Rocker, Jack Leiter, those two pitchers right there, they only remember. Best out of three. So those two games, they they went. They only need to get two wins to move on. So that's why I think that Vanderbilt is going to go. Yes, Vanderbilt is my team. I'm not being biased here. I'm just saying, you're thinking that this Vanderbilt has the two best pitchers in college baseball right now. So only needs two games to move on. Vanderbilt is going to move on because of those two games. And especially because they got Carter back. Enrique Bradfield this year has been a speed demon on the bases. That's one of the reasons why we have 84 stolen bases. This Vanderbilt team can hit power, hit grand slams to win games. They can hit, they can steal, they can field, they can pitch. They have a great all-around team, and it's a very, very young team in a way. This team is a team to watch out for, but they are a little bit inconsistent with their bats, but if their bats can stay consistent, I think that they can up, they can pull off the two-game victory against East Carolina, and I think Vanderbilt is going to go back to Omaha. And now we go to Texas versus South Florida in the Austin Super Regional. Texas put up numbers against their super, against their regional. They put, they only allowed five runs. 33 runs to 5 runs Texas did against them. Wow. Texas' is bats are scary. There's a lot of differences between these two teams. 45 and 15 record for Texas. Texas is the number 2 nationally seeded team. South Florida is a 31 and 28 record. Then their averages, 282 for Texas and 264 for South Florida. 408 for runs for Texas, 315 for South Florida. 62 home runs for Texas, 55 for South Florida, 81 stolen bases, 37 for South Florida. A 287 ERA for Texas and a 404 for South Florida. This regional, the Super Regional, I cannot tell you that it's not going to be a good regional. Because South Florida did impress me in their, in their regional. They did come out of that Gainesville regional, which is not a some regional. They did beat Florida first game. They did go out and beat Miami. So... Will they beat Texas? No, they will not. This is going to be a two-game series. I think Texas is going to destroy South Florida. I think it's not going to be a good series. I think Texas is going to beat South Florida pretty easily. That's what I believe. Texas is going to go to Omaha. And now we go to our next Super Regional, which is probably one of the going to be arguably the best regional, Super Regional, in my opinion. We have Mississippi State, the number seven seed nationally. And then we have the number 10 seed nationally, Notre Dame, in the Starkville Regional. And I believe that this this whole super this matchup right here is scary. We're gonna have Mississippi State with the with the runs 414. And then we have 308 for Notre Dame. Home, then they stolen bases. They're, these teams are so evenly matched in my opinion. Yes, I know the runs is 414 to 308, but this Notre Dame team put up 50 runs in their in their regional. They put up 50 to five runs. They beat. 
teams scared. They beat UConn 26 to three. They they're not no stuff. They can score. Their bats are so hot. It's not even funny. They can hit. Will they be able to beat North Mississippi State? Yes, I do think they will. I think that they're going to beat North. They're going to beat Mississippi State. I think Notre Dame is going to be go to the Super Regionals and go or go to Omaha, not Super Regionals because in the Super Regionals right now they're going to go to Omaha and they're going to play in, at, in Nebraska and because they're going to beat Mississippi State in three games. I think this is going to be a great series. It's going to be so good in the match. It's going to be, in my opinion, this could be two different things. It could be very high scoring or it can be very low scoring. I don't know. I really don't know what it's going to be. I hope. I just hope it's a great series. Now we go to our next one. It's our second to last one. We have the Columbia Super Regional. We have Virginia versus Dallas Baptist. And you cannot count Virginia out in this because Virginia, they came back in a lot of games. In their regional, they were in the loser's bracket. They came back to win their, reg their regional. And Dallas Baptist is not no slouch. Dallas Baptist has been an underdog. I think Dallas Baptist may, may I think personally, Dallas Baptist has one of the best offensive teams in the whole thing. But will they be able to compete with Virginia? I do think they will. 443 for runs for Dallas Baptist, 329 for Virginia, 97 home runs for Dallas Baptist, 42 for Virginia, 83 stolen bases for Dallas Baptist, and 60 for Virginia. The pitching where the difference is. Virginia has a 366 ERA, 424 for Dallas Baptist. Do I think that Dallas Baptist is going to win this Super Regional? Yes, I do. Dallas Baptist is going to win this Super Regional and go to Omaha. They're going to Omaha. I tell you that now. I believe that Dallas Baptist is going to go to Omaha and be a Cinderella story. That's what I think. I think that they're going to do it in three games. I think that this is going to be a three-game series. Gus, because Virginia is one of those teams that grinds out victories. They are not no team. To, you cannot rest on them. If Dallas Baptist rests on them, then you will see Dallas Baptist not move on. Virginia will make, the super, make it to Omaha. But I think Dallas Baptist is going to go to Omaha. And I hope they do. I really do hope Dallas Baptist goes to Omaha. And I want them to. And now we go to our last Super Regional. We have an SEC matchup. We have Tennessee, number three national seeded team, go, going up against LSU. SEC matchup in Knoxville. Which means they're in Tennessee. And what a matchup. These two teams battled our year. They played against each other a couple of times. But from what I'm seeing, LSU is one of those teams just like um, Virginia. They battle, they battle, they battle. Do I think that they can I have enough to beat Tennessee? No, I do not. I think Tennessee is going to win this in two games. Tennessee's bats, they looked a little bit iffy here and there kind of in the tournament, in the regional. But, hey. They also are a team that's just like LSU. They were gr they will grind out victories. They hit a grand slam to win a game to walk off. They are a not no team to look down on. They can hit home runs, 92 home runs. Yes, I know that the these two teams are very similar in a way. With the separate pitching, the pitching for Tennessee is very good. As you can see, a 343, 342 ERA to compared to a 440. LSU is very young, very 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 young compared to Tennessee. Tennessee. Is young, but not as young as they have a lot of veterans. They look like they're gonna they're gonna make it to Omaha. So that's what I say. Tennessee in two games to make it to Omaha. So my prediction is you're gonna see coming out of that one. You're out of where my mouse is. You're gonna see Arkansas. You're gonna see Stanford. You're gonna see Arizona. You're gonna have Vanderbilt, Texas, Notre Dame, Dallas Baptist, and Tennessee. Those are gonna be the last eight teams that are gonna be in the College Baseball World Series, and those are going to be the eight teams at Omaha at TD Ameritrade Park. Oh, so that is what I got for my predictions. That is the preview for the Super Regionals, and that is the comparison for the Super Regionals. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I want to know what you guys think. Who is your, who's going to be your final eight teams that go to Omaha? I want to know because that's going to be a great, great, Omaha this year is going to be a great final eight, great final 16 that we have right now. These Super Regionals are going to be an amazing matchup to watch. I hope you guys are ready for it, as I know I am. And until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, tell me in the comments what you guys think, and see you.